Oh, whoa, whoa, my chair's out of control. Uh, so before I even get started, uh, I am going to be doing a few photo photo shoots uh, this spring, uh, hopefully maybe throughout the summer, and uh, definitely uh, next next winter, as I have one lined up already. And uh, this, this right here, not something that I've ever really previously invested in, but I think it's going to be super handy and I'm, I'm really quite happy to have it. And I want to thank uh, Nightcore, Nightcore here for sending us all this stuff because uh, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing is better than making sure all your, your gear is actually clean. So uh, they sent us all this stuff. And the main piece that we're going to kind of be looking at today, I think, is this one here. The uh, Nightcare blower baby oh yeah and the camera cleaning pen it's so a two pieces now we also have a lens cleaning kit which is nice to have a sensor cleaning kit which is cool uh, and another full frame 24 millimeter sensor cleaning kit uh, and uh, we're gonna see what all this is about and, and this piece too because you might wonder what this is for well I'm gonna tell you what it's for coming up Okay, so lens cleaning kit, right? Microfiber cloth, lens cleaning fluid, spray it on your lens, wipe it off. Kind of important because you know we all have we all have we all have lenses, right? And before you go do your shoot, you want to make sure that for one, all this is clean. And like right now, sorta of clean, but probably could be cleaner. I'm gonna say it, right? So important to, to have stuff like this and where I'll be doing some of my shoots uh, this spring throughout the year they're all like outdoors of course so there's always that worry of there's dust or we're, we'll be shooting by water so you know all kinds of things that you want to make sure that your your lens is clean as well as put that over there that your sensor is clean so sensor cleaning kit long swab I guess this would be a short so all depending if you want this this long piece here, so it's sensor cleaning swab. Uh, it says 10 pieces, sensor cleaning fluid. And this would be the same deal it looks like, but a shorter swab, depending I guess on kind of what you like. Uh, I've always taken my cameras in to get the sensors cleaned if there's always an issue, except if there's something we're like really obvious, like a, you see a, a hair or something like that on there. Um, Cause I have had that happen. That one I can kind of get myself. But more and more now we're seeing all these kind of kits so that you and I can actually do that. So that's kind of that's kind of cool. I like that. I think I think the only real difference is the length of the actual swab. And you'll see them here on their website. We have the sensor cleaning with the mini swab. Of course, you have the full one. Uh, this is the full kit up here. Cleaning fluid, sensor cleaning fluid, uh, power baby. That's what we're going to be looking at actually today. I'll just click on that right now. Uh, and that's it here. It's the blower. That's supposed to be like crazy blow. It's cra crazy blow. It's like 70 kilometers an hour, I think it is, is what the wind speed is that I read. Yeah, 70 kilometers an hour. Uh, unidirectional air intake, aluminum alloy, electronically controlled, USB-C chargeable. Yeah, that's, that's, that's exciting. So for your just standard day-to-day -day kind of make sure everything is good, the, these are important. These are important pieces for you and I to have. And I will be definitely bringing at least one of those uh, with me, the sensor cleaning kit, as well as uh, one of the lens cleaning kits. And then these two are kind of the big ones. And they sent me a keychain, which I, I think is awesome. Thanks for the keychain. I like keychains. I do. Okay, so number one, these these two we'll put over here for now, and we'll look at this. So this is the, this is the, I want to get a sticker. Get a sticker if you're all, all, all into the stickers. This is the blower baby. Now, the first thing, first thing before I get into it, uh, I went on their website. I sent, I sent them an actual uh, email after they sent this, and I was like, I don't see any pricing or anything like that. And even up until today, I haven't gotten a response back. I actually just sent them an email this morning and time, time difference, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I will put links down below if I can find where the pricing is and or where you can pick one up to buy. Because there's nothing even on here like really for 
uh, where to buy it to contact us, which is fine. Uh, but they sell all kinds of stuff. None of it here actually has the price on it. So I, I don't know the price. Uh, I've always used one of those, you know, the air rockets, whatever they're called, the little pss, pss, pss. And they're fine. I've always thought that I would like a little bit more wind. Like, and this one supposedly will give me like twice the amount. Um, here's the big one, and I'll just show you this here. This is actually filter number two because it has a filter on it, which we'll look at, and a second one. And it really depends on what you're cleaning. So if you're cleaning like the, the camera lens, so you're cleaning like this lens, this lens here, or just blowing dust off the body or whatever you're doing, or maybe you're just, you're cleaning something else, doesn't matter. Then the filter on here works great, right? But if you're cleaning the actual, see this optional sensor cleaning, right? So if you're actually using the air to clean the sensor, then they have this optional one here, which is their cleaning filter. And that one's gonna be even finer. So there's even less chance that any kind of micro dust or debris or anything like that will get through when it's blowing on the sensor. So you'd unscrew that bigger one, that's the normal one, and put this one on, yes? Right. Okay, so here it is, this is it. Maximum wind speed, 70 kilometers an hour or 43.5 miles per hour. It has a 1500 milliamp battery. Uh, charges with USB-C port, unidirectional, yeah. Replaceable high density filters, which it shows right there. Uh, power indicator, silicon nozzle to prevent accidental damage, which is also good. You don't want a hard plastic nozzle just in case you're like shaky hands or you get too close or something. Constructed from aerospace grade aluminum alloy. Fancy, fancy. How much does it cost? I don't know. But again, I'll leave I'll leave links down below if I can figure that out for you guys. There is a QR code. I think this will just take you uh, to their actual website. And you have a scratch off for val val validation. I'm having problems today. Validation code. All right. I'm 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 eager because this this is cool, right? I think this is one of those things that you and I will be like, yeah, that'll that'll be in my bag all the time. All right, there it is, blower baby. I like the name, that I do, blower baby. Very nice packaging. Begin your new era of electronic air blowing. Intercore, sweet. It's packaged really cool. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. It was. Whoa, whoa. Power button at the bottom, just so you guys know. <laughs> Freaked myself, I'll put that right there for now. Uh, USB-C cable, is it decent size? Decent size, yeah, that's decent size. And it's USB-A, I'm guessing, yeah, USB-A to USB-C for your charging needs, very good. Uh, and we get a, looks like a little manual, and what is this? camera cleaning solution. Oh, just, so all the other stuff that they actually sell. Now, just be aware, this, this is uh, some kind of tiny. This is some kind of tiny in regards to reading. So make sure you got your glasses or somebody that can help you read that. Cause that's, that is on the little side for sure. Okay, that's, that's everything in here. Nice, I like it, I like it. Put that all away. Cool, and this is it, right here, blower baby. Where am I going? There I am, right there. So, first off, uh, it does have like a little lanyardy thing you can put on there if you want. I don't know if it came with one, I didn't see one, but you can. Uh, this is the air intake with the, with the filter. Now this, I believe, yeah, just, so it's just like a one eighth, not even an eighth of a turn, it's just a, just, it's so little of a turn, but that comes off. And maybe you can see that there. That's the standard. So it's got like a grate on there. And there is, maybe you can see it on the inside. There's like a, a second fine filter in there. So you got the main grate, which is gonna take the big chunks of stuff out. And then a smaller filter that's gonna take all the micro dust out. Now, so all you have to do is kind of put that under. And there is, there is like a little arrow there, right there. So you guys can, I guess it lines up. Is there an arrow on here somewhere that it lines up with? Oh, I guess you just kind of line it up with the center there. Oh, and there's a lock. So the lock, you guys can see it lock. That'll be at the top. So once it locks in place, then this is upright. So, and then this points 
that way. And you just click, comes off. And I guess you could purchase different ones of those if you need to. All right, there's that silicone tip. That's nice. And USB charger, power. And if you just, if you're just blowing stuff, ready? Okay, that's, yeah, that's got some, that's got some force to it for sure, right? Let's see. Oh yeah, that's all right. That's nice. Mm. That's sweet. So if you hold it, if you just hold it, you can blow and as soon as you let go, it goes away. And if you hold it, you'll actually see there's a little like light indicator. And I heard that if you're gonna be doing this for like a long period of time for whatever, if you're holding it this, you can double tap it and now you don't have to hold it so that it just kind of goes on and you just tap it to shut it down. But that's got, that's got, that's got lots of, lots of wind, lots of blow, lots of blow to it. Yeah. Uh, so that's nice because if you take another camera, let's say this one, like that'll easily blow all the dust and stuff off of that for sure. And I would think that would be way better than that the little rocket. Now, not to say that I won't keep one of those little air rockets in my bag, just in case I run out of power. Or maybe the other thing that you wanna do is carry uh, just a small rechargeable battery brick, right? So that you can charge this while you're going. Cause I did read a couple other reviews where people were like, uh, it discharged. And I don't quite know why it would discharge. They're like, I charge it up and it discharged over like the next couple days. I don't know why that would be the case seeing that this has been in the box for like two weeks at least since I've gotten it and the battery still works. So I don't, I don't necessarily know in regards to that, but maybe, maybe a little battery pack in your bag, which m most of us should probably have anyway because maybe you want something to charge your camera or do something like that. So that's, that's kind of cool. I do, I do like that. And it's a good size, right? It's not crazy big, um, but it, it fits in your hand really nice. Like if you're blowing stuff, depending on how you want to grip it, you know, I would grip it this way so that I can push this button from here. You guys can see it right, right there. And just kind of hold it like that. I don't think I would hold it this way. I think I would hold it that way. Just to hold it blowing or again, double tap. Yeah, no, I like that. That's, that's, that's useful, that's for sure. And again, this one here, if you do need it, uh, because you're going to be doing sensor cleaning. Uh, this is going to be the actual sensor cleaning filter. Again, this filter here would just come off and you would replace it with this one. And even just looking at that, uh, it, it's it's a finer grate for sure. And it's a, it's a finer filter on it. Uh, the other thing that I like, and they didn't have to do this, but I think it was smart, is this one's blue in color. So that if you have like the two of these you know which one is actually on the blower just by looking at it. If it's black, it's the normal one. And if it's blue, it's the it's the one for the sensor, right? Because you don't want to use this when you're not doing the sensor because it's just going to accumulate probably more dirt and dust and stuff like that. So use this specifically for that. So yeah, no, that's cool. I like that. And then last but not least, again, I don't know if you can buy these as one big kit or if you buy them separately or how you get them because again i couldn't find anywhere on their website that really talks about uh, how they sell them but it's there now here here's kind of the cool part is this camera cleaning pen and i'm, I'm hoping that this and this would come as a package because that to me honestly makes the most sense because uh this even though it's a cleaning pen, and I've got like cleaning pens myself, again, that I carry in my bag. Uh, you can pick them up online for not that expensive, or even in a camera store. Right? They're fairly inexpensive, pretty basic what they do, which is fine. Uh, but this, this one here, what do we have? What do we have in the box? Same idea, little manual, little, here's the other stuff that we sell, sweet. Uh, but this, this is a fancy pen, a fancy pen, if I can, figure out how to open it, there we go. Okay, so first off, you have a little 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 cap here, believing that that comes off. Is this magnetic? Yeah, so that's magnetic, which is nice. And that's gonna give you your standard magnetic carbon cleaning tip. So again, 
These are really nice for getting stuff off your lens, right? This is a really good do this once or twice throughout the day or, you know, you'd use the blower to get the majority of the dust off and then you'd come in after here and kind of get all the smudges and stuff like that off your lens, right? Because that, that'll, that'll help. Now, if you use something like this and it's not cleaning it, that's when you're gonna use like the lens cleaning, like the solution. Always start with like the solution and a microfiber cloth because that's gonna get all that, that smudge and stuff like that off there. Um, the, the, the more aggressive dirt and film and oils and stuff like that. Then you're gonna use this, and this one you'll probably use throughout the day uh, just to kind of make sure everything is kind of good, uh, as well as the blower, all right? So that's, that's that piece, which again, super useful. And you're like, well, that's, that's, you can get that anywhere. And there's that nice little uh, carbon stuff. You always get that on your fingers. But I like that it flips over because a lot of them, they pull down. But here's what's neat about this one. Ready? This, this opens. And inside there, there's two brushes. So you have a coarse brush. This one is, I don't want to say coarse, but it's, it's coarser than this one, which is fine which is nice and soft. Now, depending on what you need, right? If you're like, oh, it's got some pretty aggressive stuff. And again, maybe you're just cleaning your camera. So you wanna clean your camera. So you come in here. I think this just goes in like this, like so. Now you got a brush on the end of your blower and you're sitting in here and you're like, okay, let's just turn that on. Yep. And you can go through here and Clean the camera up because you're you're sitting somewhere where you got sand and stuff like that, right? So you got all the sand, you can get all that in your the little crevices to help get all that stuff out of your camera. Just to because that's sweet. I've I've definitely come back from vacations like like well beach vacations or tropical vacations, and you're like, uh, there's definitely some sand and stuff like that in there. So you could just take this. You could use it by itself, or of course, use it with the blower to help get that out. And if you're using something that doesn't need that much of a hard, and it's not like hard, hard, but it's definitely harder, uh, then, then you can switch, same deal, just kind of get this in here. How does that go? Then you just kind of get this and you do the same thing with this side. Put that in there. Am I doing that right? Oh, it goes that way. I think I got it the wrong way. So now, yeah. So brush brush down. I think I had it the wrong way. So it'll say its name right there. So you know which way to line it up, right? Same deal though. Just, I mean, you got a nice soft brush. So if you're doing your lens, for instance, just kind of a soft one. Okay, yeah, I like that. That, that I, I really like. I think that is like super smart. And this, somehow, I should have watched how I took those out. I think that just goes back in like this way, maybe? Yeah. Just so you guys are aware, there it is, right? Brushes in, brushes into the center. It just kind of sits like that. So this, I had it on upside down. Now it fits, but down so it's flush across the top, right? Yeah, that's, that's super good. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. And then that's magnetic, so it shouldn't open. Throw that in your bag, throw that in your pocket, whatever. Uh, I think this is, a, this is a complete win. I do. I think that's a, a great addition to your bag, especially for those of us that shoot possibly a lot outdoors. You're changing lenses a lot. You have a uh, better chance of getting dirt and humidity or water or debris or whatever because of the fact that you're outside something like this is just stick it in your pocket and just use it whenever you want right and it's just a little click and it's got that's got a fair bit of wind wind that's coming out of it for sure now don't cover it this way because you'll be covering the in, the ingesting but that right vent out or fan out whatever all right, guys, this is the Nightcore Blower Baby electronic photography blower. I think that's that's a win. Again, I don't know the price. If I can find it, or when I find it, I will definitely put it down below so you guys can uh, go take a look. But if it comes in at a reasonable price, 
reasonable price, which I don't know. It's every one of you has a different concept of what reasonable price is. Um, I think it's I think it's a good purchase. And if we have any issues with it along the way, I will make sure to leave a comment down below so that uh, you guys know what happened and what the outcome was. All right, guys. Uh, until until then. I'm going to leave you there. I'll leave uh, links to Nightcore's website so you can take a look at this and some of the other products that they sell. Uh, I'll also leave links uh, to where you can buy it once I figure that out. And that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. And uh, this is this is definitely going to come in handy. And again, thanks to Nightcore, Nightcore, Nightcore for sending it to us. Uh, definitely will come in handy. All right, my friends. Uh, that's it. I'm out. Later.